Uh, my name is Pritam. I think some of you know me. I'm also known as the person who always scams free food everywhere. <laughs> okay, so this is a, a free food I scammed last week in KL from a young Cambodian staff at a restaurant by singing some Khmer songs. <laughs> Can you sing for us? Do you have free food for me? <laughs> okay, so I just uh, want to show you some photos of uh, this camp, which I would uh, highly encourage you guys to apply for next year. Hmm. You know, it's called Mekong ICD camp, and what they try to oh. do is uh, they try to bring people from the the five Mekong countries and the Yunnan province of China, uh, all in one place in Thailand. Okay. You know the five. Uh, yeah, this was in Pattaya, but okay. 60 kilometers from the beach. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. Initially, I was very excited that I'll be in Pattaya, <laughs> <laughs> but it's in a this campus, Thammasat University campus, which is far away from the beach. But it was fun because they managed to bring very interesting people. I think somebody mentioned earlier, like you know, it's not just the they managed to get people not just working in technology, but also in medicine, education, mm. uh, different areas, and people like me who don't really work at all, just <laughs> pretend to work. <laughs> I think Thammasat is the most famous education yeah. university in Thailand. Uh, maybe Chulalongkorn Chula people Chula will say no. <laughs> <laughs> so basically what happens is that on the first day, uh, we just get together, we introduce ourselves because people are from different countries, they don't know each other. And then they just talk about things that they are working on. So it's a bit of a combination of a bar camp and a hackathon. And uh, again, because they are from different disciplines, they ask for what they need. Like they need a designer or a developer or a mobile person and so on. And then, you know, you just make a prototype and get people, other participants to go around. So we have about 80 people and everything is paid for. The flights and the food. And they feed you like seven times a day. Wow. You know, people may have seen me before I went for that camp and look at me now. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it's quite fun. Like you just, uh, you know, give them feedback and whatever suggestions you have, like whatever they're working on the app or the website. And they have interesting problems. Like I think this, this lady... She works for Hanai Medical University, and she works with male prostitutes. Mm -hmm. So she has a like she wanted to collect some data, mm -hmm. and she needed some help with that. And you know they they kind of were trying to prototype it. <coughs> and then you just make your team, and you start working on your project. Sometimes people work late until the night, so you can see like some people are doing coding, and then like uh, next morning you have the app or whatever you are working on. But you know, you can see I'm like not interested in this because I was out partying. We used to have beer camp every night. <laughs> and I used to join the beer camp. And then, okay, let me just show you. Yeah, and they also bought like uh, uh, drones for us to try out. <laughs> <But> <laughs> so they have like, while we are having this in Pattaya, there would be people from, Th from Bangkok who would come like once every two days and bring some interesting things that they're working on. And we actually wanted to fly this, but then we realized that next door is the Royal Thai Air Force Base. Oh, wow. <laughs> we saw the paratroopers jump, so we thought maybe it's not a good idea to play no. with the drone here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then on the last day, we had a bar camp, so again, it was interesting. We had a lot of technical topics. This year's theme was open data, and I forgot the other one. <laughs> I'm supposed to write a report, I already forgot. <laughs> Okay, and we had community networking. So we had those two broad themes, and then people were doing their own stuff. So a typical bar camp thing. Mm. And we had a lot of interesting, non sort of like non-tech topics. Uh, so this girl, you know, I met her like maybe three or four years back in Phnom Penh bar camp. And I always used to think she's like 18 years old, but she's not, apparently. And she told her, her secrets, like how to stay young. <laughs> What's the secret? Uh, it's a secret. <laughs> you must join uh, next year. And we a lot of uh, activities. Oh, like cool. we start 5 o'clock in the morning and at night even, you oh. know, they'll post like every, every night there's a stargazing oh, thing nice. because nice. the sky is really clear. Wow. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, <laughs> I've been to the north yeah this, this place is very nice. The campus is really beautiful. Yeah. And then early morning walks in the nature. Yeah. Around. There are some soy dogs. You know, like the uh, soy dogs are the, like street dogs, but they're quite quite nice. They don't think of you as dinner, so they just like <laughs> walk with you <laughs> in this area. And we also have yoga in the evening, like after the camp and all that. And then uh, once, only once, you know, because we were kind of crying, like we haven't seen the beach, they took us out to actually the Pattaya city, 
but even people were trying whatever they learned. Like we had a session on night photography, so some people were trying that out. Yeah, the walking street, and we had a relationship camp in the pool when everybody is half naked. <laughs> so on the last day, it was fun, you know. <laughs> so I think I kind of realized that you know one important thing is we talk a lot about technology, but what is the most important factor is the human like. how people are living their life in different countries and what is the big problem they have or small problems they have so the relationship camp was very interesting you know like people were uh, actually like they could trust each other so they could tell like uh, the things that have failed in their projects or not worked before it was easier to share because once you talk about your relationship and your sex life then everything is like <laughs> nothing is secret anymore we should all get into yeah. food yeah so next bar camp the first session will start with like relationship camp <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and then that's me with the beer camp. <laughs> yeah, so you know, I would encourage you to apply. They pay for everything, airfare, and to, even though you have to fly Air Asia. <laughs> and uh, the thing is, even though they say it's a Mekong camp, like I'm not from Mekong region, they would pick people from outside. Just say once I went to Cambodia. or i know konella she's from cambodia ba 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 yeah it's yeah ba 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 bitter is me yeah so that's pretty much and then uh, actually if you if you're coming to vietnam or cambodia or thailand uh, we have a lot of things happening we have a bar camp in cambodia soon in october this year mm. so after bar camp we always go for happy pizza oh <laughs> wow that's dangerous <laughs> yeah so join us and then we have a, a few of the similar camps travel camp in ho chi minh city it's faster to go to ho chi minh city than to go to jb you can get there in like one and a half hours and you get one hour because we are behind yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so so just i mean if you are traveling to southeast asia just feel free to tweet me or message me and i'll buy you a beer is the <laughs> least i can promise <laughs> okay and there is a bar camp in penang on august 1st oh, yeah yeah i think yeah. i saw that on Yeah. Wait, there's an important question. Yeah. When is the next bar camp Singapore? Yes. I don't know. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I'm actually thinking of doing it in JB. So. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know. I'm like for this time in JB. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the with the exchange rate at 2.7 per. Really? <laughs> 2.7. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It was almost 2.8 yesterday. Okay. So. Wow. Yeah. So it actually makes sense to do it in JB. <laughs> Like okay, idea. that's pretty much what I wanted to show. And then you so, have like you. Yeah. transport and everything taken care of, right? Sponsored. Yeah, we get a bus. And actually, apparently, Uber guys, maybe this I shouldn't say in cam on. Can you like? <laughs> <laughs> But yesterday, some uh, the guys from the hacker space in JB, uh, one of the guys was telling me like you just contact Uber and you can get a coupon. To oh. that's what they do for their events. Can we do that then? Yeah, we can. Online. Yeah. Are you guys okay with Bakam Singapore in JB? Yes. I'm serious. I'm okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's why Bar Camp is Kanda. Yeah. Yeah, Bar Camp is Kanda. Yeah. You get some money from Malaysian government. Bar Camp is Kanda. You have it on the causeway. Yeah, you have it on the causeway. Who's there? 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 Who's